Good day everyone, I'm in Bangkok at Lumpini Park. Finally I managed to record this beautiful place and uh, it's one of my favorite parks. I'm coming here since a long time, mostly alternate days or thrice in a week, three times in a week in the morning, sometimes in the evening as well. So I'll be sharing what I have learned with you guys. If you are in Bangkok and you are a nature lover, you must visit this park. The first things is about the timings. It opens at 4.30 in the morning and closes at 10 p.m. in the evening. There's good amount of security, so no need to worry if you're coming late in the evening. Entry gates, there are five entry gates, which I have observed. Behind me is gate three, so there are five gates, which I have seen, so you can also enter from gate three if it's near to you. I have observed and it's well connected not all few of them are well connected to MRT and BTS first one is MRT Lumpini MRT is the underground train from Lumpini is the name of the stop blue line is the line which you can say and uh, you have to exit gate number one of Lumpini and you can cross the main road following the signal you can see the park and entry through gate number three and also but and also but the signal is long so it takes time you need some you need to be patient while crossing the signal or there is one underground you can change go to other gate and then also come but it will take the same amount of time other way is from MRT Silom Silom is the name of the stop railway stop you can say which goes underground and it comes to next to Lumpini stop so if you remember the station code it's BL26 and MRT Lumpini is BL25 so from MRT Silom gate number exit 1 you can come and enter to Lumpini Park from and enter to Lumpini Park from gate number 4 uh, it's well connected little walk and one is BTS Chitlam also but it's too far to come but you have to walk little if you like walking and for coming from BTS so that is another way or you can come from BTS Asok which connects to MRT Silom uh, BTS is the one which goes on top it connects to MRT Sukhumvit, then Sukhumvit to two stops, then you can two or three, then you can come to MRT Lumpini. So this is also one way. So now we'll talk about gym. There's a gym inside which I have seen, but for that you have to take membership. I inquired at that time it was 350 baht for one year for foreigners. If you want to join the swimming pool, so you need a doctor certificate plus uh, uh, there's an 100 or 150 hourly charge there's the other activities also you have to keep checking that so rates might differ when I am recording this video and when you go and inquire so it would be different there's outdoor gym also with good gym equipment I have seen people come and do workout and the dumbbells and other necessary equipments are available so if you like to if you like to do gym outdoor and of course you can run throughout the park there is uh, many other activities good playground for children elderly people also do work out here spend good time with the nature there are yoga i have seen people doing yoga there is tennis yoga there is tennis court playground which I already mentioned toilets are also there inside but only you cannot keep your bags so you have to carry that so make sure you come with less luggage and it's easy for you to maintain if you are thirsty the buying water is available 12, 12 baht for 500 little of ml of water so it's up to you and uh, if you like bird sound so please come in the morning it's very now uh, pleasant voice but there is if you want more birds you can go to Penchakiti park there are more birds over there as compared to this one Lumpini park has a Lumpini school it connects from Lumpini school to Penchakiti park there's a green lane which I'll be showing in another video there's a you can but walk is more but that bridge is amazing in the night that bridge glows 
uh, of course you will find water water monitors sorry i was saying watermelon <laughs> water monitors which are lizards big in size that's common in the park don't go near to them just far distance is a uh, it's totally fine most of the things most of the things i have covered so as i have all in the afternoon it's too hot so come with an umbrella or a uv jacket if you have or if you are okay with sun early mornings better in or people come in the evening also for a run and you can bicycle also there is a separate lane for bicycle which i have recorded so there are some timings that you need to check pets are not allowed only certified dogs are allowed but i have never seen any certified dog dog parks are there i have seen it banchakiti that dog park park is there so if you have pets at home so you can come with them spend some good time over there so not here i haven't seen any dogs most of them are very cats and people love cats over here so a lot of cats you will find within the park so this is the information which i have and i have shared with you do comment and let me know for improvement in another video see you guys in the next video thank you so much for listening dog park at benchakiti i think it will be text would be reverse because this is my front camera so i today as if now i don't see any pet over here but i have seen people bringing the pets so if you have a pet and uh, they need good uh, space to walk so you can come and there are options for drinking water for them and uh, the trash bin is there so it's well organized i'll just show you the water This is the option where you water is available available for them. So it's a bowl also. Right now there's no one, but I have seen dogs using it uh, along with the owners. And uh, here is the cycle parking. You can buy park your bicycle if you are coming with bicycle. And it's very clean, and dogs might love it as they might meet other dogs. Signing off from the dog park at Benchakiti. See you soon.